Hello guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how I do my masks for my edits using roto brush and some effects you could add to them such as a simple white outline, glow aura or edge weight. Start by opening After Effects and import the clip you want to roto brush. Drag this clip from the project panel to the composition panel. Now make any changes that you want to your clip. I'm just going to resize my composition and modify the scale and position of my clip. Now select your layer, right click and recompose. Make sure you're on the second option and click OK. You want to make sure you're working on full resolution. You're also going to need to be at the starting point of the clip. Go to this little icon that says Roto Brush and click on it. Double click on the image. This will open the layer panel and it will turn your mouse into this green brush tip. Draw over your subject until you're good with the result. When you're happy with your mask, adjust the settings to your liking. I'm gonna leave mine here in case you want to copy them. Now go to the same icon and click on the Refine Edge tool. You'll see the green brush is now purple. Outline the hair of your subject like I do. When it's done rendering, adjust or copy my settings. You're pretty much done now. If you want to apply different effects, duplicate your layer pressing Command D on your keyboard and delete the effect for the bottom layer. For the top layer, I always like to pre-compose it, but it's not necessary. And I always rename both layers with roto brush and background. For the white outline effect, click on the top layer and apply the effect Drop Shadow from the Sapphire plugin. Change both of the shifts to 0 and adjust the values for Blur, Opacity and then change the color to your liking. Keep in mind though that Blur and Opacity values might change depending on the color you choose. Duplicate the top layer and look for the glow aura effect on the effects and presets panel. Then apply it to the middle layer. You can use your own settings or mine, which will be on the screen for you to copy. For the rays, you'll have to add the edge rays effect to the middle layer, just like we did before. You can use your own settings or mine, which will also be on the screen 